Just waking up with us this morning. It's the big story. Help is on the way. President Trump just hours ago signed a massive $2.3 trillion package averting a government shutdown and providing COVID relief to millions of Americans. Chris Hoffman joins us live with more on what the president's signature means for you and your family. And Chris, there was more to this. The president also redlining some things here. Good morning, Heather. Yes, the president redlining some items he calls wasteful spending. Now, here's how this bill breaks down. So $1.4 trillion for government spending, $900 billion for coronavirus relief funding, and that also includes the $600 checks being sent out to Americans. Now, in addition to all this, there will also be the extension of unemployment benefits for millions of Americans. Those programs were set to end and this will now allow them to go on for another 11 weeks. And for those collecting unemployment, they will get a $300 federal boost through mid-March. But because of the bill being signed on Sunday instead of Saturday, people in the pandemic unemployment assistance and pandemic and emergency unemployment compensation programs are not expected to get a payment this week. Now, the president has called for Congress to provide $2,000 checks to Americans, something Democrats have been in favor of, while Republicans are split on that issue. Also included in this bill are billions of dollars for small businesses, direct rental assistance, education funding, and food stamps. The eviction moratorium will be extended for another month. Now, in a letter, the president says he signed the bill to restore unemployment benefits, rental assistance, and PPP. He will be sending a red line version of this bill back to Congress to remove wasteful spending. And according to the president, Congress will be voting today on those $2,000 checks. So we will continue to keep you updated on this process on air and online. We're live this morning. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.